ready your light shall shine tonight and please be seated in the presence of the Lord I want to appreciate the great privilege of standing in front of our father tonight to preach and minister I'm a little bit jittery but I know that your prayer will help me tonight sir I want to appreciate God for your life for the light up the nation crusades going on celebrating your 80th anniversary that is to come shortly want to let you know that we value you sir we honor you and we appreciate you to let you know that your labor around the world has been very impactful when you came to to point 43 to 44 years ago to conduct camp meetings those days the camp meetings were in the secondary school everybody stayed there feeding was free and you conducted all of that no offerings taking nothing you didn't know that there was one young boy in that crusade it was held at a government secondary school to go that had a deposit of impact and that deposit of impact maybe you didn't know that there will be you may not have anticipated what would have come out of that meeting but i'd like you to know that one such person whose impact whose life was impacted in that crusade is standing here right in front of you tonight and i want you to know that we value you we respect you we honor you and when the time comes many many years and you have gone and jesus tarries to come the impact will continue to speak thank you for obeying god sir thank you for honoring god and thank you for coming to Tupu. we appreciate you can we give the lord a big clap of hand for our father tonight i want to appreciate the executive of the state the whole of the executive of the state the governor the deputy governor the um, judiciary and every elder here tonight thank you for um, honoring God and honoring God's presence and giving us the privilege to be a blessing to the state we believe it's a new day in Jesus precious name I'll be speaking very very sharply and very shortly on the subject my wife Dr. Mrs. Becky Anencha is here tonight <laughs> so that everything can be in order say one word of greeting just one greeting Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. By Elsa, are you ready for what God is about to do here in the next two days? Give Jesus a big clap and a shout of praise. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Genesis chapter 1. And in verse 1 all the way to verse 5. The Bible said in the beginning... God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning... We are the first day. I've been asked to speak on the subject, let there be light. And I believe that in this season, God shall be lighting up by Elsa State. If you believe that by Elsa State shall be lighting up by the power of God, you will shout the loudest, Amen. Amen. God shall be lighting up communities in this territory. If you believe your own particular community shall be lighted up, shout the loudest, say Amen. Amen. God shall be lighting up families and businesses and individuals and destinies and children's life. And if you believe that, God shall light up your life here tonight. Shout the Lord and say amen. amen. The Bible said in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth, according to the Hebrew, was tohu vabohu. It's like emptiness multiplied by shapelessness. Nothing was meaningful. Everything was a meaningless like one translation says, a meaningless pot of emptiness. It was in that climate that God stepped in. 
And God began to change the face of creation by first introducing light. Tonight, my objective is to explore the target of light. When we say, let there be light. When God said, let there be light. What is light targeted at? I am going to mention just 10 things this night. Everywhere light appears, many things happen. Everywhere light appears, things change. Things take a new shape. What does light bring? Number one, illumination. Light brings illumination. And illumination means the elimination of darkness. The power, the force of darkness come under confrontation when light appears. That was why the Bible said in the book of John chapter 1 verse 5, he said the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. There may be somebody here tonight that is battling the darkness of witchcraft. Battling the darkness of ancestral curses. Battling the darkness of occultism. Battling the darkness of generational limitations. Battling the darkness of wicked powers. I am here to announce to you tonight that in the name of Jesus, the light is coming now and the power of darkness shall be broken. Is there somebody here who is ready to say amen? Is there somebody who believes the light, the darkness shall be dissolved? Shout the loudest, say amen. We are in the season where God is doing strange and unusual things. By the power of his word. By the power of light. Sometime back a young lady found herself inside a big truck that was kidnapped. Along or a Lagos Expressway. And they took them into the bush. And she was right there in the middle of the bush on that highway. Plenty of them. He didn't know their, her fate. And this lady put her head inside and put her head in between her legs and on the and began to sing a song you are always there to help me you are always there to help even when i can't feel you even when i cannot trace you i have faith in your word that you are always there to help me you are always there to help you are always there to help me even when no one else was there you are always there for me even when i can't feel you even when i cannot trace you i have in your world that you are always there for me that lady is the cousin of my secretary who is seated here and she put her leg in between i was singing that song when she lifted up her eyes the next place she found herself was by the highway, the expressway. Right by the military checkpoint. The power of God had literally transported her, translocated her, evaporated her from the middle of darkness and sat her right by the highway, the Lagos way. The, the, the military people saw and said, what's happening? And he told them the story. They housed and accommodated and helped her for one more day and sent her on her way to Lagos the following day. That is the power of the light of the gospel. I am here tonight to announce to somebody, if there is any form of darkness around your life today, every form of satanic agenda around your destiny, the light shall appear and the darkness shall disappear. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen. Take your seat. One, light brings illumination. That's, it comes into confrontation with darkness. Number two, light brings clarification. Everything that is under the cover of darkness is unveiled when light appears. Mysteries are unveiled by light. Light brings illumination. Light brings clarification. Maybe you are here tonight. There is a mystery about your life. There is something you don't know about. I am beautiful. I am, I am spiritual. I, I have kept myself. Yet why am I not getting married? I, am, I, I have done everything. They say. Maybe there is a mystery around your life. 
I am here to announce in the name that is above every name Jesus the resurrected Lord the light shall unveil everything around your life there shall be clarification and the mystery shall be dissolved you believe that shall the loudest amen one lady said Lord why is my life like this then she began to fast and wait on the Lord for light all of a sudden she saw a dream where she was in on a queue and then as she was it was getting to her turn everybody was collecting what was theirs as, as it was getting to her turn to collect what was hers somebody that looked exactly like her stepped into the line collected it and disappeared when she woke up she realized that there was a spirit of impersonation a demon that was always taking what was hers if you are here like that and there is a mystery a demon of impersonation taking what is yours i announce by the authority of jesus that agenda is over forever it shall be unveiled in jesus precious name light brings illumination two light brings clarification three light brings revelation revelation in this case is insight understanding Something you didn't know before, understanding. Understanding. Paul the Apostle said, I went up by revelation. He just revealed, something is revealed. Now, there was an illumination, there was a clarification, an unveiling of something. In this case, there is an understanding. Something became clear to you. Everyone here today, in any form of ignorance, spiritually and otherwise, the light that is coming in Bielsa this weekend is bringing you revelation in the name of Jesus. The next time you open the Bible, I decree that you will see something from that scripture you have never seen before. If you believe that, say a loud amen. amen. One man had been tormented with nightmares almost forever. He decided to go into the scripture and decided to study on sleep. First of all, he saw that the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. Then again, he saw that God giveth his beloved sleep. So he said to himself, God cannot give sleep that has nightmares inside. Father, give me the sleep that only you can give. From that day, nightmare died. You know, revelation is the cure for affliction. There is something, the Bible says, through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down. Isaiah chapter 30 and in verse 31 that had been smiting you with the rod i decree tonight in the name that is above every name the light coming your way tonight is going to bring you revelation and the revelation is going to change your story you believe that shout the loudest amen light brings illumination two brings clarification three brings revelation four brings vision revelation is insight and understanding vision is the definition of purpose light brings vision that is this is what i want to do a lighted man is a man of vision he knows what to do he knows where he wants to go light brings vision it brings vision there are many visionless people here on earth today because they have no light you see medically speaking when the cornea cells of the eye can no longer receive light, they say the person is blind. So light brings vision. You are clarified on what to do with your life when light comes. One day I gave a young man, I said, can you tell me what you want to do? He was very matured, but he was doing nothing with his life. And I said, whatever you want to do with your life, let me know. Business or whatever, let me give you the money for it. He said, let me go and think and come. He was in that thought for six months. When he eventually returned, he, when he said what he wanted to do, I gave him the money. He went, and after about three or four months, he returned back the money. He said, uh, it's not really... That I, I should hold the money yet. In that regard, he was very, very sincere. He had integrity, but no vision. Is God speaking to someone here? Maybe you are seated here tonight. You don't know what to do with your life. 
I prophesy today as the light is coming your way, vision shall come your way. God will show you what to do with your life. Shout the loudest, Amen. Light brings illumination, brings clarification, brings revelation, brings vision. And number five, light brings direction. Vision says, This is where I want to go. Direction says, This is how to get there. Vision says, This is where I am going. Direction says, This is the cheapest way to get there. This is the easiest way to arrive where you are going. Light brings direction. In the village bush path, you use the touch light to find direction. There are people who have vision, but they have no direction. And many people are battling not with vision failure, but direction bankruptcy. Vision is available, but direction is absent. I know what I want to do with my life, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get there. The light that is coming your way tonight, is there somebody still ready to receive that? The light that is coming your way tonight is bringing you massive direction in the name of Jesus. Light brings illumination. Light brings clarification. Light brings revelation. Light comes with vision. Number five, light comes with direction. And number six, light comes with action. Light is energy. It is power. Electric power. It comes with action. Very early in the morning, the lizard, the most reptiles, especially the lizard, must receive sunlight to move. The eagle looks straight at the sun after a long time to acquire enough energy to move. Something we get from the sun affecting our bones called vitamin D is responsible for bone formation that helps us to move. Light facilitates action. It makes people to move. There are many who don't know, who, who are not living where they are because they don't know what to do. When you know what to do, you live where you are. Light fuels action. I prophesy, that was how I said, arise, shine. That is move. Why? Your light has come. When light comes, action follows. When illumination comes, action follows. I prophesy to somebody here, whatever has tied you down all these years, light is coming to move you forward. Light is coming to move you forward. You believe that? Say a louder, amen. Light brings illumination. Light brings clarification. Light brings revelation. Light brings vision. Light brings direction. Number six, light brings action. Number seven, light brings restoration what is missing is found when light appears a woman in Luke chapter 15 lost a coin the Bible says she lit her candle and, 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 and swept until she found what was missing how many of you, you ever got something that fell down maybe under the bed or under somewhere like that and you took your torchlight and shined it under the bed and you found that which was missing plus other things that you didn't know were there something you had been looking for you forgot you, you, you suddenly found it because you turned on the touch light and the touch light helped you to find what you are looking and to find some other thing that you must have forgotten about that is the power of light restoration for life restoration of health restoration of destiny restoration of favor restoration of whatever you have lost comes by light i speak is there somebody god is speaking to at all here tonight if you are the one shout glory shout it three times one two and three i don't know what you have lost and i don't know what the devil took from your life i don't know what is missing from your life but this light up by elsa crusade is going to cause you to find what was lost i said you are finding it right now you are finding it right now you are finding it right now you believe that shout the loudest amen light brings restoration number eight light brings beautification the earth was ugly until light came. One of the things that architects play with when they want to beautify a place is light. Light effects. The beauty of heaven is in light. 
and the exquisiteness of the mansions and the holiness of God. Light is beauty. As a matter of fact, you cannot even discern beauty without light. In the darkness, you can't even discern the face of a person. Everyone here tonight whose life had been ugly, thus says the word of the Lord from his word. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, beauty is coming your way. And when beauty comes, favor comes. I prophesy, favor is coming your way. If you believe that, say loud, amen. Number nine, light brings distinction. You stand out. Whatever has light stands out. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. Arise, stand out, because light has come. You can't die under if you carry light. You stand out if you carry light. Is God speaking to anybody here? One day, my wife and her children were coming from New York through the JFK airport. airport stood on the line. A white woman came to carry us. There were big people, white people standing on the VIP lines, everybody. And she carried us and took us past them. And one of the wealthy looking white men said, where are you taking them to? Why are you taking them there? He said, because they are VIPs. The, the white man said, we are VIPs too. That is why we are here. Then the woman said, they are very important VIPs. We have never met her before. She carried her, carried us, carried my wife, carried our children, passed us through a pathway. People, first class were standing, passed us like this, and told us goodbye. He ignored the man. He means I'm going to quarrel with him later, but you people can go. When we stood, I asked my wife and children, let's hold our hands together. This is not a doing of us. It's, there is something she saw. There is a light she saw. There is a presence she saw. There was something she perceived that caused her to make us to stand out. You see, when people are standing, when people are sitting, if you carry light, you stand. When people are standing, if you carry light, you stand out. And when people are standing out, if you carry light, you outstand. Is God speaking to anybody here? Everything that has covered your life before today, the cover is lifted right now. Somebody shout light! And number 10, please take your seat. Number one, light is illumination, clarification, revelation, vision, direction, action, restoration, beautification, distinction. Light, number 10, brings celebration. <laughs> that is why when they brought light, children used to say, up Nepal. <laughs> is there anybody here about to celebrate? Is there somebody here about to celebrate? Is there somebody here about to celebrate? In your family, there shall be celebration. In your marriage, there shall be celebration. In the work of your hands, there shall be celebration. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Somebody shout, light, be. Again. 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 And again. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Take your say now. What is the way of light? How do I access light? What is light about? Number one, the word is light. The light shineth in darkness. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. In him was light. And the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. The word is light. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8. He said God sent a word into Jacob and it has lighted upon Israel. 
The world is light. Psalm 109, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 119, verse 130. The entrance of your words giveth light. Every encounter with this word is an encounter with light. And the encounter with light will produce all the things I just mentioned. Light, the word of God, brings light. Number two, God is light. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 5, he said God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. God is light. In Psalm 18 and in verse 28. For thou will light my candle. The Lord my God will light my darkness. Psalm 36 verse 9 says. For with you is the fountain of light. In thy light shall we see light. In thy light shall we see light. Every time. You hang around God. You are hanging around light. You know the principle of the magnet. When you carry a big magnet. I'll come to that shortly. When you hang around God. You hang around light. The word of God is light. God is light. And number three. The spirit of the recreated man. That is, God says, get into my word. Come close to where I am. And I will lighten you. That was why he said, the spirit of man is a candle of the Lord. In Proverbs chapter 20 verse 27. Searching all the inward parts of the belly. Concerning John the beloved, he said, John the Baptist said he was a burning and a shining light. John chapter 5 verse 35. And then you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill that cannot be hid. But that is those who are saved. Who know the Lord. God says I am light. My word is light. When you come to me. I lighten you. And I send you to your world. To lighten your world. Somebody say loud amen. amen. When you put a big nail. Six nine inch nail. Beside a magnet, it will magnetize it, magnetize it, and hold it for a long time. When you move that nine inch nail after a while and you bring a needle, an office pin near the nine inch nail, the nine inch nail will magnetize the needle because it stayed so long in the magnetic environment of a major magnet and acquired magnetic capacity. And has become a magnet itself. That is what God says. Hang around me. Come let me impart you, inject you, infest you. With what I carry. And send you to your generation. There are people who will rise out of here. And you will be the light of your family. You will be the light of your family. You will be the light of your community. You will be the light of your generation. If you believe that, say loud amen. Lift up your right hand everywhere you are tonight. If your spirit is not recreated, there is no light. I will be calling you up later. But anywhere you are, you are saying to me, Pastor, this light you talk about, which is who is God, I want him in my life. And I want to be recreated. I want you to speak where you are. I will call you up later. Pray and say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you tonight to ask for forgiveness, to ask for mercy. I invite you to take your place in my life. Help me to be free from every sin and every guilt, every lifestyle that does not glorify you. Help me, Lord, to exist as light to my generation. I receive salvation today. And I thank you, Lord, because it is done in Jesus' name. I pray for you today, and I declare that that hold of sin be broken, 
Grace to live for God is released upon you. In Jesus name. All those who pray that prayer, wave your hand, let me see you. Wave it, wave it, wave it. Excellent. I, I see you, if you prayed it and you meant it from your heart, very soon I'll call you forward. Take your seat one minute. Very soon I'll call you forward. Wave, wave your hands right now. And ask that the light of God will visit the situations of your life. Speak to God right now. Give me. Lift your hands. Just lift your right hand in the praise of God. Something is about to happen to you tonight. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. Volume. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise. Volume. Volume. Father, thank you. Push the volume up. your hands and tell God the area of light where you want him to lighten you thank you master thank you master thank you master very quickly there will be healings and miracles and signs and wonders in the moment blessed be your name Lord in Jesus precious name the Lord is healing someone's right shoulder that cannot lift up anywhere you are lift your right shoulder right now i command that paralysis to go whether it's broken bones or paralysis or whatever it is just leave that shoulder up right now and if you are able to move you just rush forward here quickly you couldn't move that shoulder before the power of god just touched you right now and and, and, and the healing is come upon the shoulder right now move the shoulder if you are far at a distance don't let the distance stop you shoulder locked on the right shoulder paralyzed limp down lift it up and walk forward father thank you father thank you there is a man here that i saw with the neck collar god is healing your neck right now can you check that neck right now and quickly step forward here the lord is healing your neck right now with a neck collar if you came here with a neck brace check that neck right now god is healing you yes come forward sir come forward here that's right 
I'd like you to move that neck, move it up and down. Confirm that the neck is it. Give the Lord a praise. Help him there. Power of the Holy Ghost. Check that woman there that is coming with the hand lifted. The hand cannot move. Move that hand right now. The power of God is lifting that hand right now. The shoulder is free. The hand is free. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Somebody deaf in one ear since you were born. You couldn't hear with it. Okay, the woman is coming also with the neck brace. Come forward and come with your shoulder. All right, come with the shoulder. Move that shoulder and confirm that it is healed. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. We give you the praise and we give you the honor. Your ear couldn't hear since you were born. Or couldn't hear at all at any point in your life. Place your hand in the ear now. God is opening the ear right now. Somebody's left ear is being opened since birth. Another one's right ear is being opened since birth. Right now I take authority over the spirit of deafness and dumbness. Your yoke is broken. I command the ear open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. Take your hand off that ear that couldn't hear. And put it in the ear that can hear now. And you'll know you'll you you'll see that you are hearing with the bad ear the ear that couldn't hear before you are hearing with it now say after me jesus thank you i am healed excellent check the ear that confirm that your ear is hearing and if you are hearing what i'm saying right here you run forward quickly run forward quickly quickly come forward the ear can hear right now the one ear that you have that was not hearing is hearing right now quickly come forward somebody give the lord a big clap of hand as they step forward here the ear is hearing right now father thank you that's right run forward here the ear is hearing whether it's from bed or one year or three years or five years the ear is hearing right now run forward from where you are father thank you that's right. another ear hearing here i like you to check that those people that are coming right here another one coming right there quickly the ears are open right now deaf ears open right now that's right check that girl she's screaming with her hand on that ear father we give you the praise and we give you the honor in the name of jesus the same power that healed the right hand that could not lift and healed the neck that same power is healing broken bones crippled legs infirmed legs now lift up your crutches where you are or your sticks walking sticks or walking aids where you are quickly lift them up if you can because the power of god is reaching you there lift it up wave it up because you are going to be leaving it alone for the last time i take authority over the spirit of paralysis over crippling condition that's right your yoke is broken in the name of jesus i command broken bones be mended paralyzed legs receive life and strength i command weak legs be strong in jesus precious name leave those sticks high and take one leg up and down like i'm doing and begin to march that's right up down begin to match it that's right if you are able to move it up and down up and down walk forward with your crutch or your stick lifted if you are able to you are able to walk wherever the distance is walk forward that's right that's right that's right that's right from wherever you are walk forward leave the stick leave the crutch lift the walk and walk forward walk forward one is walking right here walk forward walk forward you came on a wheelchair stand up and walk in the name of jesus in the name of jesus leave the crutch leave the stick and walk forward if you are not able to walk without it just hold on until it is perfected if you are not able to walk without your stick or your crutch still remain where you are but if you are able to walk without it you lift it up and walk forward anywhere you are can somebody give the lord a shout of celebration let's celebrate the king of kings thank you jesus thank you jesus congratulations 
All right, you can stop there. The man can stop there. You are the More people are coming with a crutch lifted, with a stick lifted. You are the Lift it up and walk forward. And walk forward with your stick with your crutch lifted. You it's all right, it's okay. Leave him there. You are not just people. You are not just like You are the great life. Mama at the back there, lift your crutch as yes, lift it up as you walk forward. At the back there, lift it up as you walk forward. Many, 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 many more are coming forward. The Lord is dealing with tumors and growths. I see a breast lump disappearing right now. I cast that breast lump, right breast lump. Check it right now, you will confirm that it is gone. The pain is gone. The sensation is gone on that breast on that breast it is gone if you confirm it i take authority god is healing high nears right now as well high nears goiters are dissolving and disappearing right now if you feel you cannot see that goiter anymore you can't see the high near anymore and you cannot see the lump anymore quickly rush forward somebody with a lump at the back of the hand god is healing that lump is disappearing right now father thank you Father, thank you. Blessed be your name. Just give me one minute. Every other affliction you came here with, you came with a pain, you came with blindness. We talked about light, and God is opening blind eyes. This morning, a man came from Benin, had been in darkness for six years. His eyes open in the healing service this morning. Everywhere you are, place your hands across your eyes, and if you, 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 you uh, and what uh, that, that's right. God is healing ulcer, peptic ulcer disease. Right now, anything that is a pain in your body, place your hand where the affliction is. Right now, I take authority over the spirit of infirmity. Today is the end of your operation. Lose your grip of this life now. In the name of Jesus. I command blind eyes to open. I command all pains to disappear. Tumor pains, cancer pains arthritis pains all manner of pains your tenure expires now and i declare you healed and whole in jesus precious name amen can you check yourself everywhere do what you couldn't do if you are blind begin to look at the lights around you you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before check your the growth in your breast on your on your on your goiter the growth on your on your groin the hyena hallelujah how many of us see something this see your healing let me see your hand if you can if you experience a healing right in the crowd all right if you experience a healing right now check the pain it is gone and you want to let god know we may not take everything but just to celebrate god run to the front quickly if you had a healing something a pain disappeared an ulcer disappeared a growth disappeared a, an eye that couldn't see is seen now quickly come forward celebration you are god you are not just big yeah. you are not just like let us know oh. the healing yeah. that happened you are the great everybody you are god oh. you are god you are not just big you are not just big you are not just like oh. you are the great god yeah What happened? Okay, sir. Please tell us what happened here quickly. Please let the camera show so that those. Yes, what happened here? 37 he, he he says he, he believes it's more than 37 deaf from his secondary school deaf in the um right ear in the left in the ear. left ear for over 37 years over 37 years yes and he said as soon as the word came out the ear popped open he can hear clearly with it are you just sitting and looking like come over here. close this ear jesus 
Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I'm healed. I'm healed. Heal. No doubt I'm healed. Somebody give the Lord a praise. And what was he doing with the hand? Yes, he, he, the hand was under power. Oh, the hand was and under that's power. That's how he came. The hand was under power. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Over forever. Yes, sir. She is 17 years deaf in the left ear. And it opened is just now. Is she 17 now. years old? And no, oh, for 17 years? For 17 years. Oh, you are 17. And you've been deaf for 17 years in that ear. Yes. And it's open now. Yes. She's in tears. Close this ear. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I'm healed, Lord. I can hear. The meaning of this to you is anything that followed you from the womb of your mother. Any negative thing. Today, it is over forever. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola, hola. Just one minute. We need to rush for because of time. 13 years. Deaf. 30. Deaf. Also the same. Even the speech. If you hear the way he's speaking, you know he has not been hearing. Apparently, like both ears, but it was worse on the other ear. For, for 12 years, I've been deaf for 12 years. Now nah, I can hear well in Jesus' nah. name. Amen. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't look at me. Say amen. Amen. I can hear, I can hear well. Are you just looking and looking like that? Give the Lord a big clap of hand. When you see the way the, the man is speaking, it shows you how he's, he's, he's impaired of hearing. Father, thank you because it is done. In Jesus' name. 26 years deaf. The ear is open now. He can hear clearly now. No, one of the left For, ear. How old are you? For 26 years of your life, you have used only one ear. Place your hand in this ear and say after me, Jesus, thank you. Thank you. I am, I am here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Thank you, Lord. Somebody give Jesus the praise. This is incredible. This is incredible. That this lady came here tonight. The leg twisted. Why she stood there? The leg the was twisted. Leg. Yes. Why she, she was checking the leg that is straight, she discovered that her right ear that has been blocked, deaf since birth. She's 20 years. Pop open. The leg, which ear was twisted? The leg, the, the right this, leg. How twisted, twisted was it? It's crooked to the to, to the side, yes. outward. Yes. And just now it's straightened. It's straightened. That was what brought her out. That was what brought her. While out. she stood here, she discovered that she can now hear with her right ear that have been. She's in back. tears. Are you just sitting and look? Give the Lord a praise. Congratulations. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I am healed. I am healed. Help her. Incredible. Something is happening here. Please give me five minutes minutes more. Let's let's yes. So the man with the crutches had accident last year, August, and he couldn't match the leg completely. He, he couldn't can't match without the How crutches. were you walking with the crutch before? Literally the the leg was hanging in the air. In the air. Before he came, come forward here. Father, let the miracle be perfected. Lift your hands. Father, thank you. Jesus. Power of the Holy Ghost. I saw a woman with in purple dress that came out with yes, a crutch. Yes, I'll take that. There's, there's a woman with a crutch. This woman has had this shoulder locked for three years. Seven years. Locked shoulder. She was told that she had um, a crack on the bone. She's been going for physiotherapy. Please shift a little been on physiotherapy and the now, hand is now free as soon as the word came she just lifted up the hands she can the put two hands hand. are lifted are you seeing something here somebody give the king of kings and the lord everything the devil has blocked in your life hooked in your life is released now come forward here father thank you because it is done power of the holy ghost hold up what happened man? locked shoulder as well when you made mention of locked shoulder it's free it's Lift totally it on. free for how long I don't, I don't even count the years step here. forward here incredible incredible lift up your hands mama 
It's all right. That we took their testimony. We took testimonies. We took testimonies. Do you remember the woman with the crutch? Yes. The woman with the, with the purple dress with the crutch? Yes. We took Come forward. Yes, yes. Calm down, calm down. Yes, come forward, the one with, that was healed of the crunch. Okay, is the last person you are looking for? Let me take the original, the one, the first one with the, with the cervical collar, the neck collar. Thank you, Jesus. What are those who came with the, the, the tomb of the growth, swelling that disappeared? Yes, what swelling was that? What was the swelling? For how long? Uh, since 20. I could not tell anybody. Just and now it has just disappeared. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Hainia disappeared just now. Celebration. Two minutes and then we round off now. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? You say, what can't you do, Jesus? Hold on. It is good to work for God. This pastor is of the venue committee of this program. And what, what happened to your neck and for how long? For one month now, I found myself having numb. I mean, my two fingers became numb and then went for tests and they said, thoracic uh, lumbar and I have to carry collar to keep the neck straight. Lumbar thoracic for one spondylosis month. for one month. For one month. And now the finger is free. Now it's not numb anymore. Not numb. Move the neck and confirm. Everything is free. Somebody give the Lord. Show the people how you came with it first. So no. What okay. We are the way you came. So that you can see. You saw him since morning. Since on Saturday you saw him. Move it now and show the devil that you are free. Somebody give the Lord a big Creator of the, of the universe. Every luggage you came here with is over forever. Come forward. What can you give, Jesus? Ah, the Holy Ghost. Name above every other name. Name above every other name. Hey, what can you? What can you tell? Oh, Jesus. You are here. You are able, Jesus. Amen. I heard that about about ten deaf people were healed. Ten. How many of you are ten among years. those? Where is that? What? Ten. Ten years. Four years. Ten deafness. year old children that were healed of that deafness. Is seven years deafness. Ear open. Where Let's are see they? them. Ten year old children. Close. The ear. Yes. Ten years. Deaf. On the left ear, now she can hear clearly. Now, come, allow this woman to come. Ten years. Which ear was that? Deaf for ten for years. Ten. And now you can hear. What about this baby? Seven years. Seven years. The ear is open. Open now. Baby, say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Oh, okay. Come forward. See this woman walking as if she didn't come with these crutches. What happened to her? Your left leg. Can you move, move here? Let her just follow me. Come. Did you see that miracle? She's moving right there as if nothing happened. Somebody give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords the shout of praise. Hold this cup. Father, let your power flow this this mother. Power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Every one of you here, your testimonies are established. Is there somebody here who wants to ask God one thing before you go? All right, hold on, hold on. I want you to dance back to your seat and then I'll give you 
one minute to ask God one thing tonight and then we shall be seated go ahead back to your seat now you are a God that's, who can never fail you don't know what it means to fail that everything on the earth may fail but you can never have you are a God and a God who can never you don't know you don't know what it means to everything everything on the earth may fail but you can never oh you you are the God you are the God who can never you don't know I know what it means to everything everything on the earth may fail but you can never have you are the God who can never you don't know what it means to everything everything on the earth may fail but you can never ever fail. Now lift up your hands everywhere. And you are going to ask God for one more thing. You want him to do for you. But before we do that, those who gave their lives to Christ and prayed the prayer after me. Can you, can you wave your hand again? Those who prayed that prayer after me. I want you to pray your own prayers in front here. So uh, please can you move that man with the crutch up there so that they don't overrun him. Wave your hands those who pray that prayer again. I want you to come forward and pray your prayer here. So I give you the count of 10. And I want you to be the first to be in the front here. And pray your prayer. Say as you totally give your life to Christ. One. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Two. I live for you. I live for you. Three. Every year, every time that I, every moment I'm away. give another call you are battling with addictions marijuana tobacco masturbation homosexuality lesbianism you backslid you want to come back to god don't let this call miss you i want you to join them now i'll give you another count of ten. One, go i've got my mind Two. made up and i won't stand back Three. I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got Four. my mind, I've got my mind made up, and I won't Five. turn back because I want to see my Jesus. Someday. I've Six. got my mind, I've got my mind made up, and I won't Seven. turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind, I've got my mind made up. And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus someday Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye yeah, Goodbye, world Stay no longer Stay no longer with you Goodbye, 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 goodbye. goodbye. I'll I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. stay no longer with you Keep coming, keep my coming mind. So I'll pass away the rest of my life I made up my mind I made up my mind To go God's way the rest of my life Before we ask God for one thing, if you have your phone, it is light up by Elsa Crusade. Let's carry out a prophetic action. Turn your touch, your, your phone light on. Your phone touch light on. And just put it in the air and let us wave it. The light shines in darkness. And go ahead and scream. The light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. We decree light over by Elsa. We decree light over the Niger Delta. We decree light. 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 Over by Elsa. Light. Over the Niger Delta. Light. Light. Over the South South. Light. Let there be light. Oh yeah 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 Hey light 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 
light, light. In Jesus' precious name. Keep the light up. Keep the light up. Keep the light up. Keep the light up. As you, in the moment, make demand on God. But tonight, our Father cannot be here and I will just conclude the service. I need the blessings too. So I would appeal to Daddy to bless all of us.